the power of gratefulness. I always say that this channel is all about helping others and I don't think that there is a better topic to talk about right now in this moment as we finish our exams, as we're ending school, we got a couple weeks left, couple months left. For me personally, I have five or six weeks left until we finish and then we enter new chapters of our lives. For some of us, that is uni. For some of us, that is CJ. For some of us, that is high school. For some of us, that is masters, PhD, whatever age group that you're part of, a lot of us are about to enter a new chapter of our lives. And as much as that is a blessing, and I think that a lot of us do recognize that it's a blessing, but it's stressful at the same time. And within that moment, in that moment, for me personally as a student, I guess that even comes from a place of privilege, of course, but it gets harder sometimes in the midst of all of this chaos and just so much going on and so much uncertainty to remain positive, to be positive, to more so to be grateful. And I think that there is great power within positivity and gratefulness in the midst of a lot happening at once. So yeah, but we gonna talk about the power of gratefulness. I want to start with the fact that don't forget for anyone who feels as though they have a hard time with being grateful, with being thankful. Don't forget, we all have things we can be grateful about. And I know that in my experience, the moment I started thanking God for the things that seemed little to me in my life, I got automatically more positive because I was like, oh, why don't I thank him for these things? It's the, it's the little things little things, little to us, but they're big things. Yeah, we all have things we can thank God for. And if you disagree, well, I'm gonna disagree with you disagreeing because the only, the, the fact that you're watching this video, whether that be on a screen, on a TV, on a phone, on a laptop, on an iPad, that thing that you're holding in your hands right now, as you're watching this video, that is a blessing in itself to have access to electronic devices. And I think that, I don't know, sometimes we have like these day-to-day -day things and they've become so much a part of our routine, of our day-to-day -day life, that we start believing that everyone else has access to these things and that it means nothing somehow to be grateful for those things, to thank God for those things. And that is not true. A lot of things that you have around you, it's a lot of people who who don't have that. And even if they did, it's, it's not even about like who has what you don't or who doesn't have what you do. You can still be grateful. I wanna say that the first thing I say when I wake up in the morning is, thank you God for waking me up. It's probably one of the first things that come out of my mouth every single morning. And that is where the power of gratefulness comes from. It's, it's the little things like you have maybe slept on a bed every single day of your life. That in itself is a blessing. The bed you sleep on, the roof on top of your head, the food you have access to daily, the water, all the water, water bottles that you have, you know? When you start being grateful for the quote unquote little things, there's great power within that because with that comes a lot more positivity and a lot less, a lot less complaining. Like for instance, like we tend to have conversations where we complain that we don't like a certain brand of water compared to another. I prefer Esca from the Fiji I, and all these different things. And I'm not saying that the second you start being more grateful, you completely stop complaining. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you complain less and you become more positive because you become more aware of the things around you because you're you're more grateful for it so you're more aware of of what's surrounding you you're more aware of the positive impact that the things around you have you know like you can easily i can easily complain about this room being smaller than i want it to be that i want a bigger room with more space where i'm going to be able to put more ring lights and more cameras and and really have my dream room but at the end of the day if what comes out of my mouth every morning is thank you god that i have a room period that completely changes my perspective on things it doesn't mean that i stop saying that this room is to me too small for me but it means that i say it less i complain less about it and I'm definitely more aware of all the potentials of this room, all that this room has brought me, no matter how small it is or how small I think it is. Because at the end of the day, 
And that's when, that's where the power of gratefulness come from. I start thinking, actually, instead of saying this room is too small, I should look at all the things that this room has done for me. Just two years ago, I was sharing a room with my brother and I can guarantee you, I would rather have my own space right here in this room than to be back in a room with a sibling. You know what I mean? Like at the end of this day, I have a desk in this room where I do my homework and my editing and planning stuff and all these different things. At the end of the day, I have my own space, my own, I have my own room, I have my own space. That is such a blessing. I don't know. I think you take things for granted a lot less when you start being like every single thing I have, it serves a purpose in my life daily. And when you understand that, you become a lot more just like positive of of what's around you. And another thing is that I have noticed for myself is, as I said at the beginning, gratefulness leads to positivity, but the effect of being more of a positive person is beautiful. I think I used to have this mindset and I'm not saying that I it's completely eradicated once again, like I don't want this video to come off as, here's how to be perfect. I don't have a video for that. I don't that doesn't exist here on earth. That is not the video. The video is to be better when it comes to gratefulness. And one thing I've noticed when it comes to being more positive is that you go from a all the reasons why this can't work mentality to all the reasons why this can work mentality. I'm gonna say that again. When you become more positive, at least for me, what it's done for me is it switched my mind from a all reasons why it can't work mentality to all the reasons why it can work mentality. And I'm not saying that it's completely eradicated out of me because I'm still someone that I would consider as an overthinker. So my mind does still go at times like, yeah, but like, all the risks but at the same time you practice gratefulness you become more positive and then you get into moments in your life where you have to plan you know big things or even like finish up that essay last minute and instead of just like wasting your time sitting there thinking of all the can'ts all the reasons why this cannot happen this cannot be successful you've been practicing gratefulness and positivity for so long that your mind actually goes towards a okay but here's all the reasons why this could work and that's what I've noticed the power of gratefulness and positivity do for me. Practice gratefulness. Practice waking up in the morning and thinking about five things that you're grateful for. You can write them down if you want. You can get on your knees and pray to God about them. You can just say them out loud if you want. You can do it during some type of meditation moment. Whatever works for you. We're all different. Whatever works for you. Try waking up tomorrow morning and saying, God, thank you for three things and kind of like try to keep that in your mind along the day and see what that brings you. See what change that has brought into your personality. So yeah, be more positive, be more grateful. And uh, by the way, I've maybe said this in my podcast, but congratulations to all those who got into uni. Woo! Congratulations to all the people getting into a new chapter in their lives, whether that be university whatsoever. Congratulations to all. Keep being grateful and positive. The fact that you're getting into this new chapter of your life, uh, that is something to be grateful for. And even if you maybe skip too many classes and fail too many classes and you're going to have to redo a year, the simple fact that you have the access to redo that year, it's a blessing in itself. Education is a blessing in itself. Being at school, in a school, all of that, it's all those things, all those things that you can be grateful for. So congratulations to everyone. And if the year or the season of your life didn't go as planned, know that that is normal, it happens to all of us. So yes, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content. I will see you guys real, real soon. Mwah. Peace. Bye.